Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I just want to show you one of my maybe go to outfits. I was thinking of something along this line um, for my live reading that I think I'm either going to do on um, All Hallows Eve on the 30th or on the 31st. Um, just comment down below what works better for you guys. I really want to go live. I'm always trying to carve out time for that. And um, yeah, it's just something I want to do. And I'll probably go live over on Instagram as well for a while and give you guys some free reads and reconnect. I just attacked my Jeffree Star palette and I was trying all different colors. Um, I'm going to try all different kinds of different looks. I have a million hats and scarves and things and it was fun just goobering around with that. But um, before I begin the video, I want to thank you guys so much for going over to my other channel, Sparkless Inspiration, and watching those videos and commenting and um, all your lovely feedback on that because uh, that's a labor of love and I feel like that channel is solely grow with all kinds of different... Um, topics varying from you know ancestors um your spirit guides all things of that nature and continue to do the daily pop of positivity too because that's you know that's important to me so i was reading some things today that made me think a little bit and i want to come on camera and just share because i've had a lot of people dm me that they have all these worries and concerns and for the most part they really are unfounded it's just our ego popping in thinking oh you're not going to have this you're not going to appear this way so on and so forth so my main message was like um what am i worried about lately and what would happen if i stopped worrying about it this is like truly being conscious of your thoughts that come in and how they affect you because what it does, it puts a weight on our shoulders. It puts a fog in our emotional state where we keep going back to it. You know, it's like a yo-yo. It just keeps pulling us back up into that thought process. And then we're on this reel and it's like, it, it'll keep coming up until we just really recognize it for what it is. Simply a thought, it's a vapor and it can disappear the moment we decide we're not gonna give it any kind of focus, attention, or um, let it change our mood or let it make us believe in its reality you know most of the part it's about people feeling inept or incapable of doing something um, when they're going to a job interview going on a date doing something going back to school teaching a class learning a class whatever it is it's that ego saying oh this you're incapable un of this and it's simply not true so let's change our dialogue to say I'm absolutely capable of this I can define what success is to me I'm not comparing I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get what I need and um, I also am setting these little examples for myself. I want to do this. And then I'll put question mark, when will I do this? In most cases, I will say the next day. I want to start like, um, I really knew I wasn't getting enough vegetables and um, vitamins because I was feeling really uh, kind of like tired and out of it. And I knew I was just eating junk food around the clock pretty much. So I was like, okay, when can I implement having my green juices and all of this? And I was like, tomorrow morning, start making a schedule, start start envisioning what it'll be like when you feel really good and you have a lot of energy and you feel inspired and your digestion is good, right? That's really important because a lot of us, we carry our anxiety, throat, neck, stomach, head, right? I'm definitely one where it's in my stomach. My stomach will turn into a knot if I have any anxiety. So if you're really cleansing and taking care of your system, that's very helpful. And this is all, I think I'm going to do a whole series of reads over on the new channel, Sparkless Inspiration, on mental well-being in that we just have to reiterate what's important and has meaning in our life. We get so distracted and upset about the pettiest crap. I know I do at times. It'll be, it could be like a weird comment, but it's very, very, uh, it's very momentary because I, I just say aloud, that's so like unsubstantial in my life like that that has no import whatsoever so why are you hanging on to this and disregarding it and then and letting it go and say how do you think you'd feel if you didn't bother with all this petty stuff if you didn't get upset about all this silliness you'd feel great and then you'd feel able to just really really tuck into what matters and what's important right so right away, I just feel like this whole with this full moon coming up, we should ask ourselves, how do I define success? Like, what do I really define success? For me, it's always coming from a soul perspective of having empathy, having love, having care, being gentle with myself and others, 
um, not judging and criticizing because I feel like that's where the best, the biggest and most tragic circumstances happen, right? That's where the biggest arguments happen. People don't like to feel judged. And who really are we to judge one another? When we want to help each other, there is a really healthy way to go about that. And um, there are millions of different resources to learn how to do that as well. You know, what situations have I let my power slip away? Um, and how can I reach back and get that power? Because I know I used to be like... Um, with Ian because he just kind of like quietly achieve things and go and do them and he's very grounded he's an earth sign so we'd go and do that and I would watch that and I, that that that's a lovely philosophy to be able to just take care take care take care but I always thought that was kind of like a boring like atypical existence for a fire sign like I'm not gonna go out and just be like duty 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 errand errand checklist like I would die of boredom so I would sometimes feel that I wasn't as productive or my life didn't have as much meaning because I wasn't accomplishing that sort of thing. But meanwhile, I'm making things that I'm inspired to do and are inspiring others, you know, jewelry, all of that. And I thought, you know, it, it is the opposite sometimes of creativity is just to be like checking all that stuff off your list. But we have to make time for everything. But another thing, you know, that's the big aspect. Don't undervalue who you are and what you're doing in any regards, especially in comparison to somebody else. Because it, we will always, when in our ego's mind, we'll fall short because we're always looking at that person that's like way the hell up there, you know, on the pinnacle of something that is like, it's a different skill set. It's usually a different age group. Sometimes, you know, it's a different journey. So it, our journey and our complete authentic journey to ourselves and where we're going is ours and ours alone. So we don't ever want to kind of judge or compare with that. Okay. So another thing, I'm just looking at the cat. She's laying on the table. She's so cute is, you know, what is something that I learned about myself this year? I keep doing this for myself because when I see me reigniting patterns that maybe kind of are wasteful with time or resources. I recognize that. And right then I try to move a muscle and change the popcorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. My, it's so funny. I have this, the makeshift microphone up on the stand because it was attached to another camera. <laughs> so that might have been extremely loud. I'm going to go in and try to filter that out because that would have scared you. Um, so again, you know, just notice something, you know, um, that you're learning about yourself. If it's a pattern or a behavior or something you want to change and how to go about that, especially when it comes to procrastination or perfectionism, because those really dilute um, our, our forthright kind of like attitude to just get to, to somewhere, right? Because we're like, oh, I, I, I can't have that. I don't have this to start. If I can't be up here, I'm not even going to bother all of that. So this is saying, you know, we're taking all that pessimism and doubt away and just saying, I'm just going to go for it. I'm not out to have the perfect specimen of, um, you know, be my objective. I just want to create and see and feel, feel my way through all of that. And I always ask myself too, you know, if I couldn't fail, what would I do? And this was one of the fun things today. I said, you know, I'd get dressed up and try on some of my colors now that I have time and I have that, a moment to myself. And I was like, let's go. So you'll find yourself like carried on these beautiful whims that will help you accomplish and do new fun things. So I just wanted to come on camera and thank you guys for all your love and support. And, um, you know, you guys, it means the world to me, all your support. It's funny. I just saw in this, this is crazy how like the universe works. I was looking for these pieces of jewelry that I made and I was like, I think I lost them. So I was making these things the other night. I had all this gold chains and it was like, I had lapis and some other things. And I used to never wear chains. I'd wear like all stones, but it, I started working in some of the chains. And if you get a really delicate chain, you guys, you can actually feed it through the bead. And it's really cool. Cause then you don't even have any metals. The, the chain goes right into like the citrine. And I love these. So I'm going to be putting those in the store for you guys too. I love that because when you have a delicate chain, you almost don't see the chain you just see the stone or the crystal and it really enhances it and looks really really beautiful so these were just hanging on this so I'm like oh I'm glad I found them so anyway you guys thanks for supporting this channel my other channel it means the world to me thank you so much you guys enjoy the video hello everybody welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey how is everybody let's delve in right away and find out what will be happening in terms of messages and symbols and indications that your soulmates are arriving 
could be anything, you know, it could be runic symbols, it could be animals, um, numbers, letters, all of that. So one moment, I'll reach over and get my decks. I want to thank you guys so, so much for all your beautiful love and support on the new channel and here, your continued support over here. It means the world to me. And if any of the numbers come on too, we will, um, delve into what the synchronicities and symbols of those are as well, because I really feel like this one, the ending and culmination of 2020 is a new kind of beautiful age of Aquarius where we are really reading signs beautifully. We are really understanding indications from the universe and otherwise. So we have three choices here. We have the sigil keeper, symbol signs and messages. Number two, the shapeshifter, transformation, primal wisdom and instinct. And number three, the dreamer, visions, trance, apparitions. So a lot of this also pertains to this journey, which I really like. So I'm going to let you take a breath and make your choice. And then we are going to see with my decks I have in front of me. I've got some great decks. I'm excited. No, 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 no. The cat is like, what's going on? Okay, so let's begin. Sip of water with the Sigil Keeper. I love this deck so much. I love the beautiful artistry, all the deep, rich uses of greens and silvers. So earthy and beautiful. So let's see. First, I'm going to pull, a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a one, two, three with three different decks and see what comes in. So we have the Seer and 45. So you are going to be more acute in what you see and you're aware of and you feel it's like one of those things where um you're really going to be trusting in your intuition you are going to have kind of like a foresight into what's going to happen almost like a great kind of clairvoyancy trust that and practice it because i feel like now is a time where actually i want to pull a number two i feel this four in front of this five is important it's about stability groundedness and calmness Fours are definitely all about that. And it's saying, you know, all right, I've got my four corners. I feel good about who I am, where I am. It's like you're going to have solid, solid foresight in what to do, see, think, feel, say, all of those things. Because what happens is we get in a kind of beautiful autocorrect zone when we're on a high frequency of calling in our soulmate because we're supposed to, you know, be aligned with who we are and where we're going. So we are more stable. And again, this clairvoyance into what's to come, you're going to have these strange like little visions that are like, oh, this person's about to say this, wear this, do this, go there. I feel this person's about to contact me, whatever. All of those things are going to come to pass and practice that. What happens is we're more in touch with our intuitive self as you will be on this journey. So let's see what's going on. Oh, the sun. Yay. You're going to feel more vibrant. You're going to feel like you have more energy. Now I'm going to get to the nucleus of what the hell has been happening in the last couple of weeks with people being fatigued, tired, out of it, zoned out with Mercury and Mars retrograde. Mars is our go-to. Let's get fired up. Let's get things done energy. And when it's in retrograde, we kind of become sluggish and we really have to push to get things done, but that's going to dissipate. And this sun energy is also feeling like you're feeling this ethereal, beautiful, warm, sunny connection. You're going to feel it. You're going to have dreams about them for sure. Dragons just popped up really, really clearly and um, like almost glowing in, in this like a little kind of um, frame in my mind. So dragons are going to be symbols that keep coming up for you. Dragon scales, fire, phoenix moments, all of that. And again, you just feeling good. You feel capable. You feel on top of things. You feel like you're able to um, watch worry and concerns that used to kind of swallow you up, subside and go away because you realize, you know, we don't have to think in terms of that. Oh yeah, look, fire is huge. Do I was telling you fire, Phoenix, you're going to be having these Phoenix moments where all of a sudden if something goes to hell, you recover extraordinarily fast. You're like, you know what? That was my plan. I wanted other people to come in and participate. If they're not doing it, that's fine. Boom, rebirth, you go on. You know, you find a balance between earth, spirit, intuition, extraordinary, beautiful right now. And, and I feel like your significant other, your divine counterpart is going to be coming through to you in these dreams with dragons, with fire. Um, and also the sun and fire is just like, I definitely feel that they are a fire sign when we get all this, you know, dynamic Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. 
they're just like, let's go, let's have adventures, let's seek, let's be forthright. They're philosophical, they're charismatic, all of that. And you in turn are going to start to take on some of those behaviors and um, patterns, you know, like, wow, I didn't think I would want to go and try this and experience this. But what's happening is you're connecting with your soulmate energy. You're feeling this abundance, prosperity, and this sense of well-being that makes you want to love, trust, peace, feeling super centered, accepting, forgiving all of that gorgeous energy. So we have reconciliation. So this is also somebody else coming back that you may have had some kind of schism, argument, or fracture within the relationship. This is also an indication because what's happening is you're kind of like um, exuding this healing, beautiful, powerful energy around you, and it's very magnetic. And people that know that have wronged you or have been instrumental in the the problem in the um, relationship are going to come forth and offer their sincere, sincere and authentic apologies because they realize, hey, this could be sister, mother, friend, whatever, that was just very, just uh, like fractious and hard to get along with. They're going to come back and you're going to restore these friendships that had been missing. That's part and parcel in this journey too. You know, we step up into our higher, most powerful self and other people are very receptive to that. So I feel a few other things I'm envisioning. I'm envisioning um, holly and these like bright red berries. You're going to keep seeing that. Um, weirdly enough, those nutcrackers, like nutcrackers are like a reminder of them too. Really funny images I'm getting. But hugely fire, 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 fire because you are ready for this rebirth moment and you're stepping into this power. I'm going to pull one more tarot. Oh my goodness, you guys, the high priestess. Yeah, this is all about your intuition, just being like, boom, up and at them and trust in it, trust in it, trust in it. It says, go here, say this, do this, whatever it is, participate in this. You're going to be able to go. Yeah, instinctually know where to go and how to behave um, to bring in opportunities, to um, bring in this kind of unity within yourself. To, again, constantly feeling stable, grounded, and calm, and knowing that you have what it takes. And I feel like some of your symbolisms, again, the infinity symbol, maple leaves, but dragon is huge for you guys. Dragon and the phoenix is definitely huge. And they'll be coming to you within your dreams very shortly too. You'll probably have a lot of dreams of where you're extraordinarily hot. You're in a hot climate and um, a desert, something of that nature too, all just these fun symbolisms. And I'm going to do these little refreshers every month that new signs and symbols coming in for this. So that's you guys. Beautiful. I love that energy for you. Yeah, I'm loving this because you're going to be tapped into your intuition and, um, you know, you're going to instigate change where it's necessary and that's important as well. So love and light to you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you guys need a private read or anything else, everything is down there. Um, come over to Instagram and get in on all my daily posts and memes and my jewelry giveaways and my free goddess provisions box, all my goodies. Come on over there. We have a lot of fun and great conversations over there. So now we're on to number two, which is shape shifting. Right away with this card, I felt right away part of that is you are going to be having dreams and visions of shape shifting. You're going to see something that you swear is some kind of animal and then it's going to be something else entirely. Like it looks like a squirrel, but then it turns out to be a hawk or a crow. All of these things where they just kind of meld and mesh and everything's kind of like ethereal and dreamy and overlapping. You're going to have that taking place. You are also transforming into someone that you can't believe you have the power and the courage of your convictions now, like nobody's business. There is something that's being infused within you for, from your soulmate and your divine counterpart saying, you deserve this. Go for it. You have value. You're amazing. You're substantial. Go for it. And you're just like, yeah, why wouldn't I? When everybody else is busy kind of rowing their boats and staying in their lanes and doing whatever they're doing, you're like, you know what? Nobody else is really going to... to help me attain what I want like I can do. So uh, this is full throttle. This is full throttle energy. You're going to be feeling this. Now, so you have the Arwen card, gift, divine inspiration and awakening. So you are going to have substantial 
um, awakening moments, which sometimes can be a little scary. They can feel like vertigo. They can feel like you're hallucinating. You can feel, you'll see lots of bright spots and sparkles, almost silver or white in the corners of your eyes that just kind of like disappear. Um, it's almost like you're going to see images of what looks like fairies or fireflies, those pops of light. I feel like these pops of beautiful ethereal lights are part of your indicators of your journey. Now, you're going to be mega inspired to do something that you may have shelved or decided Oh, I don't have what it takes to do this or, um, you know, I'm just, you know, trying a little bit here, dabbing in this. You all of a sudden are going to be like, woo, all systems go. I'm going to put heart and soul into this. I'm going to paint that painting, start that vlog, open this business, whatever it is, start a YouTube channel and just really, really conduct it like effortlessly and beautiful and have a lot of amazing results and people be captivated by your work because it's your time. That's the thing that I'm sensing financial health. You're going to feel this financial abundance is going to be arriving. Basically, when we're connecting to our divine, it's all systems go in the healthiest department of everything, mind, body, and spirit. So we're not wasted. We're not wasteful. We're not impulsive. We're not reckless with our health, with our finances. Therefore, we see opportunities the way they really are that are going to turn out satisfactorily because we don't live in la la land anymore we're grounded and stable and you know we have a balance between this earth our intuition all of this stuff that brings in abundance and financial well-being and you're just going to see a huge upswing in this as well all kinds of neat things take place within this so let's see what else we have we have the empress energy yes oh my gosh seven of wands in the empress energy seven's going to be your number that's about synchronicities that's about spiritual awakening and it's also about introspection so this is just, all of a sudden you're going to be looking at, why am I doing this? Why is this important to me? Does this really even matter? And why am I giving this my attention or time? Later for that, now I'm going to be like solar powered and I'm going to address things that need addressing and really be singularly focused on what matters. Therefore, giving you this Empress energy, you're not giving your power away. You're not giving your time away. Um, you're not doing anything that... Um, it's superfluous. It's like you're just focused and you're centered and you feel empowered. That's part of the divine process. We step into our most powerful, like galvanized, heart-centered, soul-centered person that we are because we're in touch with the divine. We are not compromising anymore. We are, you know, we are in this. So let's see also what's happening. The merciful one, compassion, release, and relief. Yeah, you'll feel the sense of burden, just a lightness of being, you'll feel good, you'll feel bright, you'll feel light, you'll feel ready to go, you'll feel infused with this soulful purpose. That's basically what it is. You'll wake up and be like, wow, I have so much gratitude. How did I not notice all of this before around me, all this beauty, this magic, my family, love, friends, my creativity, all of this, and all of a sudden you're going to be infused with all this motivation, but have a lot of compassion for yourself and other people around you, a patience, a loving, a caring, a beautiful sense of wow. When I only pay attention to what matters and what deserves my attention, do I feel damn good and I don't feel tired and I don't feel that I'm giving any power away. So this is wisdom, enlightenment, higher consciousness time, big sense of completion. Your signals definitely I'm feeling are winged creatures, fairies, sprites, elvins, all of that type of thing, those little symbols. But also, weirdly enough, the nation of South America is going to come up. You're going to notice that on maps. You're going to notice these. I don't, I don't know why, but South America is going to keep coming up. Some of you may be South American. Um, some of your divine others may be from there. Something is something about that just outlay of that, you know, ooh, Argentina, Brazil, that sort of thing is going to be grabbing your attention. Also skeletons, white skeleton heads and bodies that's a symbol that's going to keep popping up and definitely your number is seven you're going to see all these sevens and you know you're going to step into this beautiful strength and confident mode where you're like i've got this which i love so that is you guys group two beautiful energy if you're new to my channel welcome you guys don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read i get them back to you within 48 hours my etsy store is down there thank you guys you know that I have gone to my Amazon wish list and gotten me surprises. I appreciate that more than I can say. Thank you. Thank you so much. And everything else is down there. And come check out the other channel if you haven't yet, Sparkrist Inspiration. That's where the daily pops of positivity and all the other reads are going to be, you guys, that um, and come out daily over there. So beautiful. Yeah, great. This is Transition 101 for you. Just like, boom, that area of my life, not satisfying, moving on, keeping going. 
Beautiful. So now we're on to number three, you guys, which is the dreamer visions, trans apparitions. This is you actually going into such deep meditative natural states that you're not even planning on. You're just like sitting out in your yard, sitting at your steering wheel when you first start your car and all of a sudden having these beautiful visions of understandings of actual physical attributes of your divine counterpart. You're going to, you might have like all factory senses where you can smell them. You might hear music. Definitely songs are going to come into you for you guys. You know, I, for some of you, I feel like they're really fun, beautiful, loving songs like Bruno Mars type of things where you're just the ultimate, uh, but they're like dancey and happy and make you feel good. Katy Perry, things of that nature, just music. All of a sudden, this song is just going to be like, that's my song. That's our song. And you're going to tap into that because music and that frequency is huge to help us get in, you know, in alignment. Music has been around since the dawn of time for a reason. It's very healing. It's very connective. So let's see what's going on. So we have 10 of cups. Woo, 10 is going to be your number. Completion, wholeness, and integration. You're going to be able to integrate things into your life that have power, meaning, and help you just kind of like super fuse everything together and get it done. Like, dude, close that tab, close that, you know, uh, you can differentiate right away between what is meaningless and meaningful and you just attack it, close it, do it really, really good. But you also feeling emotionally fueled. You ready to lead. You have this beautiful balance in your life. You have this kind of higher consciousness taking place. Super, super kind of um, steadfast. And when you devote your time and energy, you get things done in a beautiful way. So let's see what else is going on. So you have the oath card, promise, pledge, and contract. Um, this is, you're going to feel this, this energy of not only is the soul counterpart so devoted to you, but there's going to be all these beautiful, meaningful poems and songs and things that come up that cement this to you. But also some of you guys will be having real 3D contracts coming in for business school and otherwise where you'll be signing on the dotted line and be super proud of yourself and your accomplishments. Because what's happening is in our divine process of meeting the one, our, our kind of like calendar gets checked off what do I want? It's our bucket list. It's our living bucket list. Our frequency is so high and we feel confident. We're just going for it. Check, 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 check. So your things you're bringing in now are very, very powerful. Oh, I love this too. Abundance, peace, and contentment. This is a sense that we get when we know we're fulfilled and we have gratitude for what we already have. So since we're in a living state of already acting as if they are already with us because they are in spirit and in energy, we start to feel the sense of peace and calm. We don't have lack mentality. We have a contentment in our life where we're going, what we're experiencing. We also feel real and bring in abundance. We have gratitude and feel rich in what we already have acquired, but it also brings in more because of that. When we have gratitude and we are loving life, guess what comes in more of the same. And again, you're just feeling like what a splendid life. You're going to welcome positive and healthy energy with open arms. You're going to choose to let your natural healthy energy shine through right now too. You're going to be making really, really stupendous, great life choices on what's good for you. Yeah. And you know, you're confident in this change that you can, some of you guys trying to lose weight, all of a sudden it just falls off. Boom. Whatever is best for you physically, spiritually, and mentally, you're the governor. You're just doing it. Bam. I've got this. And it's going to come naturally for you to feel good right now in this empowered energy. You are going to be a huge magnet for confidence and healthy living. You know, you are going to achieve beautiful wellness levels. You know, you just feel good mind, body, spirit, like you've got this. So let's see what's going on. Temperance. This is part of it too. This is so great when this happens because oftentimes we can be scattered and going in a million directions. Your divine counterpart and your connection to this energy is going to level, level and give you this uber supreme focus on what matters and just get things in balance. You know, that Libra energy, like, listen, I'm not going to be accosted by all these little meaningless things and, uh, and snipes and jabs and whatever. Um, buy this, see that materialism makes no difference. It's no more competing, comparing, or any of that. You feel a lovely sense of wholeness within yourself. And that's part and parcel of this journey. Just feeling good, feeling connected, feeling the divine love that comes in. It helps us ascertain what really matters in life, you know, and you're going to get a lot of closure with other things that might've been, um, you know, just, uh, why is, why is this person behaving this? Let's just do this. Let's have this conversation. If there's a a fraction, a, a fraction or a problem in a relationship, closure with that 
forgiveness taking place. That's a big part of what happens in our journey. But again, a whole lot of justice coming in where anybody has done something whacked out or, or not healthy, I feel like they're going to appeal to you for forgiveness because they may have some embarrassment towards that. And I feel like it's just time to tap in. Yeah, the council. We're gonna, you're going to feel this beautiful connection to spirit and your guides and your ancestors. And again, I feel like some of your numbers, again, 11, 11 is five, five, fives. Go out in nature. Nature is going to have this calming centering effect where you're going to get more messages because the council often resolves, I'm sorry, resides out in that beautiful nature. We see it in the stars, the sun, moon, the earth, all of that. And when things are conjuncting and things are squaring and, and we feel that empowerment just from the earth because nature is just like a huge magnet that re-energizes us when we allow it and the council is constantly going to be surrounding you and giving you beautiful healing energy to move towards what's more beneficial to you too in the soulmate journey because they always want us at our highest best frequency so we're not um we're not distracted and we're not childish and we're not impulsive to a detrimental way to ourselves or to others right because what happens when great love comes in all of a sudden we fear we'll lose it what comes in with fear doubt suspicion jealousy all of that right uh, 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 uh. spirit doesn't want to allow that therefore the council and everybody is getting you situated with confidence feeling being in the swing new revelations discovery epiphanies about who you are and how empowered and wonderful you really are so wow beautiful messages group three that's you guys if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read or anything else everything is down there i get back to you within 48 hours everything my etsy store my amazon wishy list all the goodies are down there um thank you guys please come over and get on all the free jewelry giveaways over on sparkwist 11 that's my um instagram page and you know just thank you guys so much for all your love and support i'm really excited about halloween again i'm going to try to go live it's probably either going to be all hallows eve or halloween so comment down below what works best for you guys as well so love and light everyone